those, right? Are we even... yeah, we're, we're against them, okay. Okay, now they want a peace treaty. Yeah, no. Fly away! Well, I just gonna run out of fuel before they even get there. Okay, so we have a big clump of them. Send them to uh, a very small system, yes. These two planets are uh, horrendously important. We need to attack them. We need to beat them down. Maybe I'll put some more into ship construction. I think it makes it a little cheaper to make our craft. I wonder if it's uh, there's any attack move order where I can just blob them with them, just get them to go everywhere, kind of like an infestation. Oh, self-replicating ones would be also pretty cool. Okay, so uh, their new colonies are pretty near us. That one, those ones might be easier to take out with these depopulation drones. I just know something's gonna happen and they're either gonna die horrendously to like one uh, flat gun or something. <laughs> They're, doing, they're not doing that bad on fuel. I mean, still going halfway there. That's decent. Okay. Are we still building cruisers here? Yes, good. I like to make my uh, names very simple, you know, as, as you've seen. That one was just called, uh, God damn it. There we go. Whoops. Let's try to get some more uh, class 1 frigates. So our economy is good. Our economy and uh, our military is getting back up. That's good. Research, uh, we're dropping by a bit, but should be fine. You can stop making these now. Now what was I saying? Oh, I had something about ship naming. I like to like keep my names uh, pretty simple and just label them class 1s, class 2s. I find it uh, much easier to do it like that or just name attacker, defender, missile, or shield. He's just look at this guy expanding and he's just blobbing the place. If only we can build colony ships the same uh, same way we built these. Where are these ones? No, it's a terrible plan. Oh, our drones are about to land. Yes. These guys are uh, researchers, I think. They use these shield and shield craft, and they're also named after uh, uh, 
people like Einstein and Newton, so um, as I recall, they have very weak uh, internals because they use computers rather than uh, crew members, so uh, if we board them, theoretically we can take those out really easily. I'm not particularly sure on their design, but uh, I think they don't have any internal defenses. Internal defenses are like... Uh, I'll see if I've researched them, actually. Should have had them. Boarding party here. No, I don't have them yet, but uh, they're an internal subsystem which defends you from borders. We flying at the speed of light. Oh, our weapons got damaged. That that's actually pretty effective. Look at that population drop. Oh wow, we might be depopulated the whole planet with these. <laughs> Yep, planet's dead now. And traps just caused my computer to freeze up. What are these guys going after? Uh, tankers? Okay. But they get butchered by everything else. <laughs> Uh, they have a good amount of ammo left. They might be able to kill off the system. Maybe it depends on how fast that one ship works. Uh, I think we're good. Maybe I might sh I might build a few more tankers to support my fleets, but uh, right now I doubt they'll put up much of a fight. Plus. It uh, it, it kind of goes down to how fast I'm going to out-research my ships. Right now I'm uh, researching pretty slowly on... You know, I don't want any more missile. But uh, eventually I'll out-tack my ships. Like In the beginning of the game, training level 1s and level 2s are really fast. So that... 50 minutes later into the game, you've uh, already out-researched your ships, so there's no point in making like a, like a fuel, like a giant fuel bay that like can last for an hour because, well, the ship will be obsolete, obsolete way after. I really don't want to colonize the system simply because uh, if anything happens to that star, that star has the same amount of HP as like four, well not four. Like, just a few of my ships. Okay, so damage isn't that bad. And we're gonna fly into the sun? Yes! Yeah! That's the way you do things. If, you're, if uh, you've been noticing very closely, you, you can see these uh, little tags on the side that simply means who's inside the system. Uh, I've been avoiding these gray ones because they have enemies that remain inside them. Yeah, this is the one that we uh, bombarded and for some reason now we have a planet here. Oh hey, we captured uh, some of their ships. Scouts mainly. When you capture their ships, you get... Oh, hey, we captured the big one. Actually, it's pretty nice. You get their uh, blueprints. Now we have one of these. Hopefully these guys are using their boarding parties. Camera's bugging out for some reason. Run. 
run away. Run away. Run away. It's alright, our like small satellites will take them all out. I'm not sure why the they're showing that hey these guys are healing it. Oh those are shields and so just absorbing everything I throw at it. Oh and now we have their uh, ground fleet. And they uh, have like no Newtonian uh, physics on this game, so I'm pretty sure all these ships are meant to stop here, but some of the lighter ones, uh, they're accelerating too fast and now they have to turn around and fire the rockets to uh, get back. Pretty cool feature. Do more projectile weapons, projectile weapons and uh, missile weapons is what I I like to do. That's where it's at. I don't like expanding really fast because uh, it kind of bogs me down. Planets, governor types. It's a little menus, a little. It's pretty handy, but yeah, personally, I'm not that great with uh, using it. Okay, so I'll get you to build me.